dunk like that shot. Two can take the lead here for LaSalle for the first time. They isolate Henry, taking a flak big. Johnson for three. Quentin Rose, stop pop from the elbow. Well, that's a better measured look for Quentin Rose. He took it in transition, took his time, felt the defense collapsing, made that little mid-ranger. He's not going to be a vocal leader. He'll let his game do the talking. That's what he told the media prior to the season. And a lot of Temple fans will be enthusiastic about him this year, no question. Here's Johnson, blazing past a flat boy with his left hand. Practice, at least you know what you have. They're familiar with the environment, with their teammates, your, your coaching style. They've gone through a year of you being you know, taught by you what you want out there on the floor. So I think that'll be easier for LaSalle than most. And Dingle gives the lead back to Temple with the three. John's not happy on the sidelines. Understand, you cannot go underneath those screens on Dingle. He can make you pay, as you saw, good composure reading the screen. Now out to Johnson for the time. So here comes the freshman, Quentin Rose. And a palming violation called against Rose will go back to LaSalle to the NCAA tournament. Here's Sacknia, kicks out to Johnson, extra pass for Dees, a baseline jumper is good. He is a good looking freshman. He just took his time, a little pump fake, saw the defense, read it, made that half Little half turn move on the baseline. Bang. Well, flip flopping here in Philly. LaSalle is a one point edge. They isolated at Gionia. It was double teamed that time from Sacknia. Williams is rejected again from Johnson. That's his second block tonight. And we'll get a hell ball. Alternating possession will go the opposite way. Back to LaSalle. Well, the door open for Williams on the baseline, and B.J. Johnson just came out of nowhere. And you see the athleticism. You know, just the reach. But Johnson cleaning up the mess at the rim. So Williams will take a seat. Still hasn't scored tonight. Quinton Rose, the freshman from Rochester, is back in. Another highly touted youngster along with Alani Moore. He's currently on defense at the top on Pau. Sacknia, who battled illness last year. Taking it at Chionia. Sacknia, who will be able to make that move in the Atlantic 10, but... Very tough over Temple's toughness. And a foul for Daniel Dingle. This is a guy that they're going to call upon a lot this year. In fact, he'll graduate with a master's degree for Temple. Well, he's done a nice job. I mean, he's, uh, he's only a 24% three-point shooter a year ago, so you've got to play him for the three because he looks comfortable on it. But when he puts the ball on the floor, you know where he's going. He's going to get and find his way all the way to the rim, and that is a high degree of difficulty. He had a few games in particular last year that led Temple to victory, among them against UConn and against Cincinnati. So last year came off the bench. In fact, started the last 13 games, didn't play too much of the NCAA tournament game because of an injured hand, but he's 100% this year. Powell with the runner. It's off the heel, and there's an Echionia. Dingle for three. And the deep tray is good a year ago, but looks much improved, comfortable, composed from the outside. Extends the Temple lead to five. Dingle has 11. Johnson was looking for Sackney up the two weren't on the same frequency. Austin Jr. looking for it. Moore is the point guard, but Shiz Alston did a nice job of just reading the defense, pushed it in transition, and on the rim run, perfect delivery. Temple up by seven. Price with his left hand cuts into a five-point game. A nice read of the defense by Price, and on the overplay, just made that backdoor cut, found a way to get that angle to the rim. Price has nine.
Another palming violation. That's the second time tonight on the freshman Rose. Let's go back to the pass, though, for Temple. Well, this is a set play that LaSalle runs. And then you see here Temple on the rim run. Oh, and Echionia just does a nice job of in their secondary offense, just finding that way to get in the lane. Just a good read by all the score on the baseline, out on the wing. And he has held his own defensively as well. He's not strong enough yet to bang around in the lane, but he finds a way to put the ball in the hoop. Just two seconds separate the game. It's shot clock. They isolate Powell, taking an Echionia before the horn. Well, that is very good coaching and a great read by Powell. Temple at home in big five play will have a three-point advantage over LaSalle, but give the Explorers credit as Dr. John Giannini's club roared back in this one. As we reach halftime, it's Billing. In fact, it's the earliest LaSalle has ever played a big five game. Stukes with a no-look pass to Washington. In and out, there's Dingle to wrestle it away for the Owls. More for three. Stukes and Powell work in conjunction. It's a Stukes triple, and there's a flag B. So Stukes with Powell, Johnson, Washington, and Jordan Price on the floor to start the second half for the Explorers. After complimenting both teams offensively, come out of the locker room a little disjointed with quick shot selection. Dingle taking Powell the mismatch. Daniel Dingle. Daniel Dingle averaged four points a game a season ago, but showing that he is has an improved offensive game as a senior. Washington had trouble. And here's Alston. And that's showing you the catch and shoot. And an early timeout from Dr. John Giannini. And the fans love that here in Philadelphia. Temple has an eight-point advantage. Well, Daniel Dingle has done it all for Temple, but he's also had some help with some of the veteran players. He's done it off the bounce from the perimeter, and then if you don't get back against Temple, they will make you pay. You've got to contest. So he can play on the baseline and in the free throw line and attack the rim. Williams on the high-low with an Echionia. That was blocked again by Powell. Snuffed once more from Johnson. And Echionia can't get it on the third attempt, and Dees has it, and here comes LaSalle. A three will tie it. Stoops. Johnson on the extra pass. And a blocking foul call. It's going to be against Dees of LaSalle. Well, LaSalle came up empty-handed in that transition, but defensively they did an excellent job walling up against the bigs of Temple and you see just the health there and the activity down low the length of LaSalle Tony Washington doing a good job just holding his position holding his ground using that 610 body but not fouling so after the foul here's Austin with his owls leading by three Rose will have another attempt, and that's his second three of the evening. Uh, good patient offense by Temple. They work on that a lot. A little misdirection in the dribble handoff. Step back three by Rose. He has eight thus far, extends the Temple lead. Price for a deep two. And that's a guy they have to get going. Yeah, Jordan Price. That's a LaSalle giving Temple a little bit of dose of their own medicine. That step back handoff. Those are very difficult to defend. Back down to a four point game. Austin wisely resetting to an Echionia in front of his own bench. Stripped away from Johnson. He calls a timeout, and LaSalle will get it. Williams on the high-low feed to Echionia. Again, excellent offensive execution. Temple waited, waited, waited until they found that overplay on the low box and then created that high-low situation. LaSalle back in its half-court set with Johnson. Henry coming back in for Washington, who's mired by three fouls.
Powell for three. Offensive possession by LaSalle. They didn't really get the ball moving. They kept it on the perimeter. And had to force one at the end of the clock. Ten to shoot for Williams. Lost it. Henry was in his way. Went off of Williams' knee. Powell looks to push with his left hand. Swatted away by Alston. And off of Powell will go back to Temple. Last year, the big five scholar athlete of the year.